A sexual assault survivor who now travels the country speaking to athletes about their actions says she was contacted by San Diego State a few weeks after the alleged incident. Brenda Tracy has been sharing her story for nearly a decade now, and as CBS 8 Steve Price reports, she has concerns about the way San Diego State has handled this case. Back on November 28th of last year, San Diego State's football team had a guest speaker, a sexual assault survivor. Brenda Tracy shares her story with the hope that no one else will experience her pain. I myself am the survivor of a gang rape by four college football players. Brenda Tracy says bad people do bad things. So her message to state's football players was simple. Good people need to step up and do the right thing. My hope is that they will act with courage and conviction and do something different. Understand, like, I have the ability to help or harm in this situation. From what Brenda has learned about the alleged sexual assault of a then 17-year-old girl at an off-campus party, it appears to her that San Diego State did not handle the situation correctly, sending the victim a dangerous message. What happens when the good people don't do what they're supposed to do? And what does that say about me and my place in this community and, and my value and my worth as a human. This afternoon, San Diego State's athletic director defended the university's yeah. lack of action, saying police told them to step back. Bernie. SDPD asked us not to investigate because they felt like it would impede or potentially impact negatively their investigation, so we chose to do that. But Brenda isn't buying that, saying universities are obligated to prioritize student safety. She calls San Diego State's decision to allow alleged rapists to walk the campus and interact with other students frightening and can only imagine the questions parents of current students must have. Our universities all say we take issues of sexual violence very seriously and here's all of our programs and here's all the things. But when you see them not do that and not follow through, you wonder, is my child safe there? Brenda hopes San Diego State will take a good hard look at their actions and be better the next time this happens because she says, unfortunately, there probably will be a next time. And her message for victims, no matter what anyone else says, it's not your fault. You didn't deserve that. And, and I hope that you are um, taking care of yourself and, and getting the support that you need because you deserve peace and healing. At San Diego State, Steve Price, CBS 8.